wonder how um, chapel is uh, planned, how we decide what happens on each given chapel time. So uh, we have themes. We have a four-year curriculum, four-year plan that we follow. And each month we have one or more themes that we try to plan several chapels around. So for August and September, we have general kind of welcoming, uh, setting, this, setting the table, letting you know what a chapel is, full setting. Uh, we have next week, we have Spiritual Life Nemesis Week, SLU, as it is known. Uh, and it comes a little bit earlier this year, in part because this is when uh, it worked for our uh, speaker, who is Michelle Hirschberg. She comes from Heston College. And on this week, we have chapel every day. And uh, I anticipate that you will enjoy Michelle. She's a very dynamic, uh, engaging speaker. Um, and then uh, following her, we'll have uh, spiritual practices. We'll have several chapels uh, related to that. In October, we have politics, uh, which is appropriate for this year as we uh, look for the uh, presidential elections coming up. And also, we're talking about service and mission. So we may have several students share about maybe their experiences over the summer, or we'll have different mission organizations come and share about opportunities for you to serve uh, in this community or in this world. For November, we have uh, God's will and direction, faith stories, and uh, we'll have a chapel um, around Thanksgiving. Now, I started here in January, so I still don't know exactly what that will be, but uh, uh, we typically try to have something related to uh, the holidays of the year and to uh, look to the Christian calendar as well. Uh, in December, we will talk about stewardship. And probably when you think about stewardship, you might think about money, but we also will talk about stewardship of our gifts or talents. Um, in other areas. Uh, we'll also look at Advent and Christmas uh, uh, celebrations. For January, we'll talk about peace and non-resistance. Um, being a Mennonite school in the Anabaptist tradition, we look through the lens of particular characteristics of our Anabaptist tradition, uh, and one being that of uh, being a peace, historic peace church. And we'll also look at uh, equality, and uh, I think also in January we have uh, seniors sharing from their senior experience. In February we're looking at truth and integrity, media and technology. In March we again have a Spiritual Life Emphasis Week and in the spring we have it just a little bit different. Each day we have a different speaker and usually it's an alumni who comes and talks about the intersection of their faith what they learned here at Doc and their current vocation. So we try to have people representing a variety of different professions, whether they're in the business world or uh, in church ministry or the education uh, arena or in politics, wherever. Uh, they come and talk about what they have learned about the intersection of their faith and their vocation. Uh, we talk about Lent, uh, 40 days uh, prior to Easter, and we'll also talk about uh, discipleship, what it means to follow Christ. In April, talk about forgiveness, conflict resolution, and the body as the temple of the Holy Spirit. And finally, in May and June, we talk about baptism, commitment to the church. Uh, we talk about the Bible, what it means to us, uh, how do we read it, and we also give opportunity for the seekers to share some of their reflections. <coughs> So this just gives you a brief overview, overview of the year. Uh, this sheet, um, chapel themes, is hanging up outside of my office. I'm located behind the snack area in the Longview Center. And also on the whiteboard there, I have listed uh, the chapels for the coming week. And so if you're curious about what's coming up, you can look there. Um, and also, I, I, I can't emphasize this too much, that uh, it really value and appreciate any feedback or suggestions that you have. And this also goes true for any of the chapel committee members. Uh, if you have ideas or suggestions for things that you would like to uh, hear about in chapel, please contact any one of them, or come to my office and, and talk to me or grab me as you see me walking along. Or if you have any feedback or questions of something that you heard in chapel, I would really welcome uh, you coming and sharing um, whatever you have. Bree, thank you for uh, creating the, uh, the present presentation here.